Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. So today we're talking about DJIRO. So basically, if you're starting off, if you're a beginner, you want to use an online brokerage account, um, DJIRO is the, one of the platforms that I, I would recommend um, if you're based in Europe. So um, traditional brokerage accounts are more expensive because of the fees, the commission they charge, and because they have a stock manager to actively manage your funds. If you're a beginner, um, you want to use an online brokerage account because you won't pay so much of fees um, using the brokerage accounts. So um, I actually tried DeGiro. I wanted to test whether it's a reliable platform. So I, I think I deposited 100, 100 euros previously. And then yes, it is a, a reliable platform. You can also withdraw your money, a minimum of 100. Um, it's regulated by the Dutch Central Bank and uh, I think the Chambers of Commerce as well. So, it is a reliable platform so i'm just going to walk you through the system um, in this platform so you get a better idea better overview before deciding um, whether if if you do want to use online brokerage accounts so let's just jump right into my screen hey guys welcome to my screen so basically you can see that um, this is the online digiro platform so basically for an online platform is much better than a traditional brokerage account for someone that is starting off if you're a beginner and um, you have a, a lower sum to invest into the stock market because um, it's not you don't have to pay higher commissions to stock managers that actively manage your funds so you can see the price comparison um, it's much lower so when you want to sign up um, you just click open an account and then you just fill in your your email your username your password so i think they'll ask for your pps number as well and the your bank details for you to deposit money so basically here is just a, a, a a fee schedule for you to have a look so you can see that it's 50 cents plus 0 0.004 cents per share for the united states if you're buying u.s um, stocks u.s traded stocks ireland is two euros plus 0 0.05 percent so this is quite good you can see um, using these kind of online platforms you pay lower fees so this is the platform once you go in this is what you'll see so they have a few um updated news about the stock prices so balance is basically how much you have on this online platform portfolio is how much you have invested in the stock market available to trade is how much you have available on this platform that you can invest so if you have less than the amount available to buy a stock they'll notify you as well because they will take into consideration the fees um, the tax those kind of stuff so so for example we're looking at microsoft so you can see for Microsoft, this is the stock price. So it's $203. So limit order is basically um, if you want to buy a stock, but you don't want to pay that price for the stock. So let's say um, it's $200. You want to limit it to $200. So when the price drops to $200, then it will process the transaction. Market is basically um, it will execute at market order. So at this price, once you set market you, you place the order it will process the transaction immediately so um, stop loss and stop limit is relatively similar to each other so stop loss is an order placed with a broker to buy or sell once the stock reaches a certain price stop limit is similar to stop loss but as their name states there is a limit on the price that um, they will execute so i think this is a very good example so for example the stock is trading at 55 you're waiting for the right buying opportunity so you want to wait for the price to go down so limit order is based the way i see it is limit order is basically you're looking for the opportunity and you don't want to lose out stop order is basically you you want to minimize your exposure to to losses you want to li limit your risk exposure so so the price could go up or down so when you set limit order basically you're setting you believe the price will go down and and the limit that you will take Take the price is 50 so once the price drops to 50 your the it will immediately buy it for you once you set limit order stop order is basically you want to minimize your exposure to risk you don't want to miss out so the price could go down or up so if you think that the price could go up the maximum amount that you're willing to pay is 60 before you decide to buy so this is the, the distinction between limit order and stop order day order basically means that you're saying that the order if the order doesn't go through that day it will basically cancel the order so you're just um, looking at, for that day good to close means that um, it will keep it will keep your order until it it um, hits the price that you've set whether in a buy position or a sell position so you might just want to use good to close when you're starting 
and then if you're day trading you you can use um, day order so it depends on your preference which which one you're you're planning to use be sure to subscribe and share this video and if you like to be notified of future updates um, click that bell notification really hope you found this video helpful and uh, i look forward to seeing you in the next